Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today I have a styling video for you. We are going to be styling the shirt that I have on today. I think if you were to see it on the website, um, it's an Eloquii shirt. I think if you were to see it on the website, you might think, I don't know, it's kind of weird. I don't know how I would style it. How much mileage am I really going to get out of it? So today I'm giving you seven ways to style this white shirt. When I'm shopping, I typically have a rule of three when I buy something. So if I'm at the store, for example, and I see a shirt or I see a dress or something, if I can't immediately think of three different ways to style it, it's an automatic no-go for me. I have to be able to integrate things into my wardrobe. I have to be able to spend the money and know that I'm going to get mileage out of it. So when I saw this shirt, which I'll stand up and show you, when I saw this shirt from Eloquy, I knew that this was going to be a shirt that I was going to turn to a lot. So it has a tie at the waist that you can kind of bring around. I like to leave it kind of in a long bow right around the waist. And it has an off the shoulder option or an up and then these really voluminous sleeves that are really, really on trend. Now the reason I like this is not only is it on trend, it's a crop length, which for me gives me a lot of versatility, but also it makes my waist look really great. We have an off the shoulder moment, which I absolutely love. So it just kind of ticks a lot of boxes for me as far as the style goes. Um, so I know that a kind of shirt like this can be intimidating to a lot of people. So here are my seven ways to wear it. So the very first one's actually what I'm wearing right now. And I'm pairing this with ripped jeans because I think the shirt can be a little prissy. So I'm dressing it down with ripped jeans. Now that being said, even though I'm dressing it down with ripped jeans, I still want to kind of pay respect to the fact that it is a dressier shirt with a lot of design details. There's like a kind of a, an elastic in the center to give like a double bubble effect to the sleeve, a lot of great pleating and stuff. Um, so I put it with a pair of nude heels. I got these at Target and I'm gonna link them down below if I can because this style, and I don't know the name of the style, um, they just don't do nude for white people. They do nudes for like five or six different skin tones. So they have like your nude in a shoe. So I've seen lighter than this. This is kind of right around the medium shade. There's like at least two shades darker than this in the shoe and I believe two shades lighter. So I will link them down below. Um, I think finding a nude shoe that suits your skin tone is really important if you're into higher end shoes. Christian Louboutin does an entire range of flesh tone shoes that will work for just about any skin type. Um, so I would really recommend finding something that works with your skin type. So I put these on, I think they were like 20 bucks, and then I paired it with my Mardi Gris Chloe Drew bag. Now the reason I did this is because it has a great saddle shape which really gives it more of a bohemian feel um, and kind of adds to the whimsy of the shirt. So we do have kind of a lot going on, but kind of the overall vibe is feminine casual because even with this bag, we have a lot of feminine detail in the chain and the strap and the little details here, but the saddle bag is more um, kind of casual to it, which I think plays off the jeans really nicely. So this is the first way to style this funny shirt. The next outfit I'm calling Lemon and Lime because I brought in a lot of yellow and green into it. So it starts off with the white shirt and then comes in with these brown shoes. I know a lot of you guys hate these shoes. I know a lot of you guys love these shoes. I did not realize that woven shoes would be so controversial, but here we are. Um, so these are my Universal Thread from Target Little Mules. And I paired the shirt with these bright yellow paper bag shorts from Eloquy. Um, now what's really cool about this is that the shorts bring in a lot of color, which is fun. The paper bag waist, very flattering, really nice, has pockets. So what I did with this is so not to overemphasize and have too much fabric around the waist, I took the ties, double knotted them, and tucked them in the shirt for a cleaner silhouette. So that way the paper bag waist can still do its thing, the focus on where it was supposed to go, but I still got to have the drama of the top in a very kind of day-to-day -day casual look. And where the line comes in as I paired my green Gucci bag, I love yellow and green together. Obviously it reminds me of like citrus um, and it's very summery and very, very fun. Obviously you don't have to have a green Gucci bag, um, but any kind of green bag I think would offset the yellow really nicely, play into the brown tones because it kind of brings it to this kind of earthy vibe at the end of the day where you have like brown which kind of represents dirt and earth and like think of a tree you know kind of we're looking at the the trunk of a tree and then we're looking at green leaves and yellow lemon so i kind of you know i, I have a story for every outfit but i really like how this kind of makes the shirt a little more day casual and then also shows you that you don't have to tie things in a bow just because something is sold to you one way doesn't mean that that's how you have to wear it so make things work for you so i really 
like this outfit. I feel like this is a really great day outfit. Like if you're going to get brunch and it's nice outside or you want to go sit outside and have some iced tea, this just seems like the outfit to wear. Let's say you have a date night coming up or maybe a girl's night out and you bought this shirt and you love it and you're like, how can I make this more sexy? How can I amp up the sex appeal? How can I make this more day night evening appropriate? Well, we're gonna start with your favorite pair of black pointed toe heels. Um, I have these ones from Dior that I splurged on late last year, early this year, right around the holidays. I got these uh, for a great deal and they're fantastic. They're just like a regular pointed toe. I don't do a big heel, so this is kind of about three inches. It's kind of where I'm at these days, especially after I fell. My knees and my legs are not what they used to be. Um, so start with that as a base and then reach for, and I, I hope you guys have a pair. I hope you watch me enough in the colder months to have picked up a pair. Now, I will say that I will not wear this outfit this time of year because it's 105 degrees today here in Phoenix and um, I will die if I do. But um, pairing it with leather leggings is really, really, really gonna amp up that sex appeal. I love how this looks together. It's edgy, it's feminine, it's sexy, it's girly. It's just such a cool all around vibe. So wearing these with black pointed toe and then having this shirt is just so great. Leaving the tassels of the bow kind of long or the ribbons of the bow kind of long also helps conceal the tummy a little bit. Um, so I love this all together and then I topped it all off with one of my newest splurges. This is a Dior Oblique um, small kind of wallet on chain. So get a little bag like this that you like. It's Get one that has some really good hardware. Get one that has like a chain instead of a leather strap, some cool hardware on the front, whether it's black, white, navy, navy and white or whatever, whatever you like. Um, but just make sure that you're adding a little bit of hardware to it so that way it keeps it a little more edgy and not so feminine. But if you did want to take this in a feminine wrap, putting this with a really pretty like you know, ro rosy powder bag or like a blush bag would be really nice too. But I like to add a little bit of depth to it and I thought that this print on this bag really played off the leather nicely and then the chain added a little bit of, you know, kind of dazzle to the shirt. Um, I also like having bags like this because if you're not like a big jewelry wearer, I feel like if you have a good earring on, this kind of adds and acts like a necklace a little bit. So these are just great little bags to have. Um, like I said, you don't have to have a Dior one. I just, um, we're starting a luxury series here on, on the channel, so we'll, we'll talk about that later. But um, something kind of like this that's small, that's a great little evening bag with a great chain, I think it's really going to amp up this top and make it evening appropriate. This next look is how I am 1000% going to be wearing this top in Hawaii. So I'm going to be starting off with a pair of bold gladiator heels. These are about, again, a three inch heels. I need to get the nubbin replaced on these because I've worn them to death. These are so great. I hope these are still available. These are Vince Camuto. I got them at Macy's, I think. Um, I'm really big on mixing high lows. So yeah, I have a lot of designer bags, but I'm mixing them with things like from Macy's, from Target, from Walmart, from Boohoo. Um, so I kind of like to mix them high lows. So you're not spending all your money, you know? So grabbing these heels, these kind of act like a neutral because they are just a gold metallic. And then I paired them with these pants that I got from Boohoo. And I'm sure you guys have seen that haul already. If you haven't, um, you know, we'll make sure we link it up in the cards. These pants are so great. They're like a faux silk wide leg pan and a dark palm print. You guys know this is kind of my go-to, so I freaking loved this so much. I loved how these look together. Because these go up so high, they made my body look banging, and then I have this like floaty top. And the key here is balance, okay? So with a shirt this voluminous, you don't necessarily want to go really voluminous on the bottom, but that doesn't mean that you can't wear a wide leg. What you want to do is wear a wide leg that is a thin material, that doesn't have a lot of volume to it that skims the body so that it kind of looks almost like gives you a column shape versus something that's like really big and baggy. So these skim my body really well. They're tight where they need to be, loose where they need to be, and paired with the shirt, I think they look amazing. And of course, I had to throw in this little neon purse that I got from Boohoo as well. I love this together. Like this is just... It's just easy, it's great, it's affordable. Um, and even if you don't have like those Vince Camuto heels, just wear any kind of gold sandal if you prefer flats, you know, anything like that. But letting these pants kind of, it just makes for a statement outfit that doesn't feel overly statementy, if that makes sense. Like it's a statement shirt with a statement pant with a statement bag, but when you put it all together, it just vibes and it makes you look like the coolest girl in Hawaii, if that makes sense. So. Um, obviously this is 
absolutely one of my favorite looks from this entire styling video. Okay, this next look is restyling some accessories from earlier. So we have our top as a base, we're grabbing our woven shoe again, and we're also grabbing our green purse. Um, and we're pairing it with a palm print maxi. And if you thought you were gonna go the rest of this video without seeing another palm print, madam, you must be new here because I still have another palm print outfit after this. Um, so I love this and this together. So I like a maxi skirt with this top because it does allow the focus to be on the top, but when you bring in a fun print, it kind of gives everything a little more drama. But you know me, I love a tropical print, but any kind of print I think would be really nice with this because it's such a simple white top. It's such a great base for it. Um, so grabbing this one from Astra, this is just a really nice lightweight, um, so the outer layer is like a chiffon and the bottom is lined with kind of a, I think it's like a white poly, um, white poly blend, and so it's opaque, so you don't have to worry about like, you know, seeing through and all that. And then just amp up the greens with bringing in this, and then the gold will play off the brown, which will play off the top, yada, yada, yada. You get me, but I really like this together. I also really like this for my babes that... Um, want a little more coverage or are just big some babes are really into maxi skirts and I hear you I feel you you are my soul sisters I love a good maxi skirt um, and this one is outstanding I will link it down below um, I love I love just leaning into green green is definitely one of my favorite colors to wear so um, leaning into that so for example if you had a maxi skirt that was purple red orange whatever Go ahead and match your bag to it. Have fun with it. Play with it. Maybe get like a similar tone but different. So when you're shopping and you're going to buy a bag maybe to go with your skirt, wear your skirt while you're shopping or bring it with you so you can hold the fabric up next to the purse and say, yeah, I think that's going to work together. Um, but this outfit, really nice, really casual, and a great way to kind of add a little sass mouthiness to your Sunday brunch outfits. Okay, so this is basically the, <laughs> the palm pant outfit but like okay i'm kind of cheating it's kind of the same outfit but different so starting back with our gold shoe our little gold sandal um i found this and you guys have, you guys saw this in the boohoo haul as well i found this wrap skirt i'm just gonna throw this bag on my shoulder so it doesn't fall um the same fabric as the pant i found it in a wrap skirt i love this to death to death and back I freaking love this skirt. It is absolutely beautiful. I love how shiny it is. I think it's fantastic. I love how it just looks like it's thrown around my waist. So I make sure that my shoulders are down because when I'm wearing a skirt, I want a little more shoulder because then it's flirtier and a little sexier. And then I have this bag um, from Sophia Webster. I would not actually recommend this bag in particular and i'll tell you why in just a second but i pulled this in it's got um rose gold flamingos on it and some bees it's actually great it's a beautiful neon coral offsets here really nicely so we're getting that you know pop of neon which is obviously one of my favorite little styling details neon super and on trend but as someone who is such a big fan of summer and spring fashion pops of bright colors this is something that i will just like reach for time and time again um i just love this and again the gold shoe just kind of becomes a neutral at that point the reason i would not recommend this is i have worn this out once it is patent leather i would highly recommend against buying most patent leather bags um i have no idea how this happened but there is some sort of transfer on it and i have no, and this just does not come out i have scrubbed i have pushed i have pulled i have cried i have prayed and nothing is getting this out. So this bag is kind of trash for me. Um, and that breaks my heart because, look, I mean, if this is not me in a purse, right? Like, and Sophia Webster is a gorgeous brand with gorgeous, whimsical, fun styles and plays so nicely into someone like me who's a tropical-based wardrobe. Um, and I wouldn't recommend spending the money on this one. If you can get it in leather and get a leather protectant, I would say that's probably a better choice. But patent leather is just, after this bag, I kind of adopted the rule of never any patent leather bags. I was just done with them forever. It's a shame because the shine is kind of cool. Um, but I do love this bag, and I do think it looks great with the outfit. I just hate the, the ink transfer. So I just wanted to kind of let you guys know if you saw it and you thought, oh my god, I want to buy it. Caveat, be careful about the patent leather. Um, if you're good and you store your bags and dust bags, you'll be fine. But um, yeah, anyway, I love this outfit. I love how this is flirty and the skirt is flirty and the off the shoulderness is flirty. Um, it's just such a fun flirty, how many times can I say flirty? Date night look. 
Okay, so this last outfit is actually probably the most advanced outfit that we're going to talk about. So, we are going to start out with some open toe, peep toe heels. These are some old Valentinos that I have. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily recommend buying these. They are um, uncomfortable and not really worth it for the money, but I have them, so here we are. Um, they are low, again, with three inch heels, kind of where I'm at, but I wanted an open toe with this because it's gonna add to the sexiness of what we're about to do. So I'm gonna set these down on the ground. So we're starting with our open toe. Then we're going into our favorite slip dress. Now, this is one, again, I got from Boohoo, loving these bargains. Like, I love a bargain, can we? Can we please, amen, for the bargain? Um, so this is a little inside out, sorry. <laughs> it's a little inside out kind of slip dress, but it's got a really dramatic ruffle at the bottom and it's got um, a high low hem. So we have something that is really fun, really loud, really sassy. Um, so put it on. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the strap and you're gonna tuck it into your strapless bra. So you're giving yourself almost like a strapless dress silhouette. From there, you're gonna layer this shirt on top of that, which is gonna look really cute. So you're getting all the benefit of all of this fabric and the flounce and the gorgeousness of it all, but you're getting the white shirt. So it almost is gonna look like a high-waisted skirt without having to go buy a high-waisted skirt. This works because the fabric is thin. I know that um, and it's actually one of my caveats to being plus size. I don't like to layer up a lot of fabrics because it tends to add bulk and discomfort in places that I don't want bulk or discomfort. I don't want bulk or discomfort anywhere. But I will layer up very thin fabric. So when you're looking at this and this is like a shirting material, very thin, and then you have this very thin, it's not too much bulk. And because it's form fitting, it really doesn't necessarily add any volume. So pairing those two together gives us a really cool silhouette. We're getting to play with the print. We're getting to reuse a dress that we bought that we can wear on its own and styled with the shirt. We're getting more mileage out of this. We're wearing our black heels, which we all have a million pairs of. And then I paired this little Louis Vuitton um, clutch with it. It's just a little kirigami. Um, and with a pink inside doesn't matter which bag you pick just pick something This would be a really good opportunity to bring in a pop of color if that's your vibe If not go with brown black or cream Which is neutrals which are all of the colors that are in the skirt dress part and that way you'll kind of have a more complete look So I just grabbed a little pouch to kind of keep it evening um, But there's a million little things that you can do with this um, And if you're someone who likes to match your bags to your shoes go ahead and get a black bag and it'll look really really nice Okay guys, so that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed putting it together for you and you saw something that you liked. I cannot wait to hear which outfit is your favorite and I would love to know if you have any pieces in your wardrobe or that you purchased recently that you're having a hard time styling. I would love for you to send them to me on Instagram so I can put together a video like this for you guys and style things that you're actually buying that you're like, I love this but I don't know how to wear it. Crystal, give me some ideas. I got you, that's what I'm here for. So leave me a comment, hit the thumbs up, hit um, the subscribe button, turn on notifications before you head out, and I will see you in the next video, bye! This ending was all over the place, but um, while I'm stumbling over my words and wishing I had Diet Coke, here are two videos that you can check out, um, and they're gonna be more hauls, and um, go shopping and buy some fun stuff. Here's the Boohoo, I'm gonna put the Boohoo haul here, because this is the one that I talked about, I have a bunch of stuff from this haul in this video, so go watch this. Watch this one too. Subscribe this right here. Bye.